It was September 12th, 2022. PNB Rock and his fiance Stephanie Sibanhung, who is the mother of his daughter, stop at the iconic Roscoe's in South LA. He had two watches, several chains, rings on his fingers, and these are not just costume jewelry, chains that, you know, do gain attention. For those who may not know, where they chose to eat is not a celebrity haunt. I heard that's the hood where they went, man. I heard they went straight to the hood to get something to eat, you know what I'm saying? And that was an absolute no-no right there, you know? You go when you want to fly under the radar. Absolutely. Uh, I said, quite frankly, a half million reasons, a half million dollars worth of reasons to come and take advantage of this young man. PNB Rock and Stephanie had been partners for years, visiting LA for a business meeting and to celebrate an engagement party for fellow rap star, T. Grizzly, where the partiers compared their assets on social media posts. Come on, man. Hey, yeah. peas, rollies. Yeah, yeah. But PNB Rock and Stephanie dressed down to head to Roscoe's, and Stephanie had raised concerns about him wearing so much jewelry in a restaurant. He declined, telling her, it's in God's hands. This surveillance footage shows PNB Rock and Stephanie walking in. It's lunchtime, 12.28 p.m. As they wait, a man seated to the right fist bumps the rapper, but the couple is quickly taken to a table. The waitress can later be seen bringing their food. Stephanie posts a photo of their meal to Instagram, geotagging the restaurant's South LA location. But what they don't know, outside in the parking lot, a plot is being hatched to rob the rapper of the half a million dollars in jewelry that he's wearing. Although it was 12.30, I think this was like a Tuesday. This was not a day that you would think that you need to keep your head on the swivel or be alert to crime or someone trying to jack me, rob me, steal from me. But at 1.16 p.m., a gunman walks inside ready to score. There was some sort of verbal exchange at this point. At 1.17 p.m., the unarmed security guard notices the commotion and flees. Seconds later, PNB Rock is shot. His fiance, Stephanie, restaurant patrons, and employees watch in horror. Others flee. 1.22 p.m., LAPD officers arrive on the scene within five minutes. They attempt to save the rapper, who is still breathing. Three bullets have ripped through his chest and back. The crime scene, a mix of blood, jewels, and the gun PNB Rock had stored in his belt, resting on the table. Standing in the doorway of Roscoe's, a traumatized Stephanie carries her phone, but as she runs to join PNB Rock in the ambulance, LAPD officers escort her to their car. Stephanie is soon at headquarters answering questions. I just want to know if he's have like a long care. Can we call the hospital to see if he's okay? Seven, four. Seven, four. Seven, four. Seven, four. Seven, four. LAPD is on scene at Roscoe's in South LA where bullets had been flying just minutes before. No, 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 no. Philadelphia rapper PNB Rock has been shot three times and is barely holding on as seen in exclusive footage obtained by True Crime News. <laughs> Officers pull the rapper's distraught fiance back as she appears to reach for an item on the floor later revealed to be PNB's diamond pendant from his necklace. She trying to reach for the pendant on a whole crime scene, man. All that's evidence, baby. You got to let that be right now. You know what I'm saying? That can't come with you today. You know, that's why he, this whole situation is because of that pendant and the rest of the jewelry, you know? Yeah. As cops work the scene, word quickly spreads. P&B Rock was dead and the questions begin. A murder occurred following a posting on Instagram or social media, the posting of that may have led to these individuals learning where he was at. Social media users immediately start blaming Stephanie's geotagged Instagram post showing her meal. This is my fault, oh my God. Stephanie blames herself as seen in this police interview video hours after the murder. Questions they soon learned from Stephanie herself. Someone in the restaurant that day seemed suspicious after spotting PNB's bling. How did they know you guys were in there? Besides the posting of anything. Felt like he got set up. 
Before long, the deputy DA confirms their investigation shows PNB was set up and Stephanie's post had nothing to do with it. In that photograph was only the food. There wasn't an arm or jewelry or any type of wearable items, nothing valuable on the post. That could not have given enough time to orchestrate a plan. Man, I remember when that happened, everybody was just blaming her, blaming her, blaming her, blaming the girlfriend for posting. But clearly, that's why, that's why I, I, you know, wanted to react to this video, you know what I'm saying, to let people see, you know what I'm saying, the truth, because they still got people probably don't even know the truth, you know, still thinking like that, you know what I'm saying, but clearly she had nothing to do with setting them up or... Her post had nothing to do with it, rather, you know. This the dude right here. It all started with a man named Tremont Jones. Does anybody know who they are when they walk in? Immediately, Tremont Jones, the gentleman who was sitting right inside the door that fist bumped PNB Rock, knew who he was. Tremont Jones loiters at the Roscoe's. That's just his hangout spot. He just be hanging in that journey every day. You heard me? I mean, just a bum. Then spotted something. You know what I'm saying? At least he think he didn't spot something. But you know, down there in LA, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a shame, but it's crucial down there. People ain't got it, you know what I'm saying? And seeing somebody walking in the, in the area, in your hood, you know, somewhere you hang at every day, you know what I'm saying? Some shit you never see, you know what I'm saying? Or rally see, you know, coming in that one, you know, in that Roscoe's, you know, he he come up in the PNB Rock, walk up in that bad baby, like, you know, he look like them, you know. Let me go get somebody, you know, yeah. Detectives soon gathered hours of surveillance video that pieces together exactly what happened in the minutes leading up to PNB's murder and after. From the moment Tremont walks outside, he alerts another man named Freddie Trone to come to Roscoe's. Prosecutors say they acted like two old school gangsters. So how is it that Tremont Jones tells Freddie Trone who and what is going on? The information was relayed, who and what, and the opportunity to get maybe half a million dollars is sitting inside this restaurant. It wasn't the first time PMB was targeted in LA. He talked about it with podcaster DJ Academics over a week before the Roscoe shooting. Man, if you ain't been, man, say, look, back in the days, <clears throat> I got robbed for a herringbone. Nice 20 millimeter, you know what I'm saying? And um, the way it happened was, you know, back in the days, we used to have pages. So I'm riding in my car, me and my partner Slim, we riding, and we on college drive in Baton Rouge, you know what I'm saying? So we pull over the, um, to the gas station next to the Waffle House. They had some uh, pay phones on the corner, right there on the corner by the red light, on, on the gas station parking lot, though, but it was right there by the corner. So I parked my car right there, and... When ran, you back in the days to have a, a a little a little hotel behind that gas station, and so I ran, you know, in the alley between you know the uh, gas station and the bushes, and went pee. It was a walkway though, you know, from the hotel to the to the store and to the front college drive. Man, two dudes walked up on me with two bandanas around their face and stuck me up for that chain, man. I ain't bought no chain since, you know what I'm saying? Well, not nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, that's noticeable, you know? That kind of shit, it draw too much attention. Negative attention. Mid they tried me on Fairfax, like mid-pandemic. Is oh, gangsters out there on Fairfax? LA is like they bold. At Roscoe's, surveillance cameras record Freddie Trone arriving in the parking lot. He chats with Jones. They're speaking, and at this point is where my position is that the conspiracy was triggered. Trone leaves, but quickly returns with his own 17-year-old son. The son is dropped off. He exits the rear driver's side, and he has a full face covering and this very distinctive purple Fruity Pebbles shirt. Man, I never, ever 
participate in nothing like this, especially with my son, man. I mean, it's never that crucial, man. You try to teach your kids better, you know what I'm saying? But not this dude. Cops say Tremont Jones stays outside as the teen brushes past him. Once he's inside, Tremont Jones knows Planet is in action. And at that point, we we're seconds away from seeing a muzzle flash captured inside a very grainy camera inside Roscoe's. Stephanie recounts the horrifying minute by minute details when the 17 year old approaches them. As soon as he walked in, he pointed the gun at his stomach. He said, Give me all that. Shit. I'll shoot you right now. And he just started shooting him. He took his rings off, necklaces off, took his two watches off, and he made me take my watch off. He said, Give me that shit right now. I swear to God, I'll shoot you in the head. It was so scary. Before he flees, the teenage gunman can be seen. You mean to tell me PNB Rock gave him the jewelry and he still shot him? Talk about trigger happy. Seen snatching diamond jewelry from PNB's body. Prosecutors say the gunman's dad, Freddie Trone, was outside in a waiting car and all the suspects made a quick getaway. In Los Angeles, police are on the trail of his killers. This surveillance video shows Freddie Trone and his teenage son walking near their apartment minutes after the shooting. The son has changed clothes and not long after tosses a bag into a dumpster. You think they threw away their clothes that would have all sorts of incriminating evidence? As far as the shooter, yes. Early the next morning, cops say Freddie Trone leaves the apartment and torches the getaway car. The same car seen picking up the hitman at Roscoe's. So the car is the Buick Enclave. He sets it on fire blocks away from his residence and walks back home. Investigators learn the car is registered to Freddie's wife, Chantel Trone. This man wasn't thinking about cameras at all throughout none of this. He ain't processed none of this here correctly. You know what I mean? You done, brought, you done went and got your son, you know, based off something that a nigga that be hanging somewhere told you. Then you done laid there and your son and went and hit the lick and he killed the people. He killed the man. You outside in your truck to pick him up. In the same parking lot. Yo, lady truck. This nigga here need to be stopped, man. He 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 stopped now though. Soon, Chantel and the suspected 17-year-old son and gunman are arrested. But Freddie Trone is nowhere to be found. The block is hot. Of course, he's wanted now. His face is now on the internet beside PNB Rock. Freddie flees to Las Vegas. The DA says his girlfriend, Wynesha Evans, drives him out of town. So that's where I call her side chick, but Miss Evans rents a vehicle and she drives him to Nevada. But before long, Trone is captured. LAPD homicide investigators head to Vegas and grill him as heard in this exclusive interrogation audio. He goes by PNB Rock. This is the case that we're investigating right now. That's really unfortunate. God bless that young man's soul. Freddie denies he and his wife are involved in the Roscoe's murder. Because, if y'all figured this guy, my because, son did it, why didn't he hurt? You're in here for murder. For 1-8. You got your old lady and your son in jail. Now all y'all in jail. That shit couldn't have been worth it. No. For 187. But cops can pin Freddie, his son, and others to the Heiston murder through the hours of surveillance footage. Trone, Tremont Jones, his wife and girlfriend, along with his juvenile son, all face charges. One thing that um, Freddie Trone said on the stand that I really highlighted is 
he himself said his son was dangerous. In a Los Angeles courtroom, Freddie Trone is convicted of murder and robbery. Traymon Jones is found guilty of robbery and conspiracy to commit robbery. Freddie's wife, Chantel Trone, pleaded no contest to accessory after the fact. And Wynesha Evans pleaded guilty to accessory after the fact. Did you ever find the jewelry? No. Did you find the murder weapon? No. Wow, so you got a conviction without a murder weapon. No murder weapon, um, no property recovered, nothing. Justice was served. Man, how could you get your whole family involved in some bullshit, man? That's crazy. All y'all in jail now? Over, see that jury? That shit captivate they mind. And be like, this is an easy one. All I got to do is pull that gun on him. He going to get it up. Damn. You got to give it to a grown adult that's satisfied when he get it in his hand. But all that shit there, man, over some jewelry, bro, you got five people been convicted over something. A nigga who be hanging at the in front of the place and sitting in the front of the building from what he say. Man, rest in peace to P&B Rock.